The Mississippi River, father of waters, discharges at its mouth about 900 billion cubic yards annually. With this little trickle, in Lake Atasca, it begins its long trek to the sea. Think of it. A cup of water picked up here is abruptly checked on a journey of 2,546 miles to the Gulf of Mexico, which it has just begun. This is an American river. It's not a Louisiana river or an upstream river. And it's going to require the benefits be looked at in a national way. And the solutions have to be looked at in a national way. I fished pretty much all my life. My grandfather was a fisherman all his life. When we fish in the dead zone or around the dead zone, uh, you just can't catch nothing. You have to go somewhere else. And I'm talking about miles and miles and miles. The Mississippi River is the main drainage for 33 states and parts of Canada and the heartland of America. That water then comes down very quickly and goes out into the Gulf of Mexico. The outcome is an area that can range from about 6,500 square miles to the size of New Jersey, which is about 8,500 square miles in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, where there's effectively little to no oxygen in the water. We're challenging scientists and researchers to focus on the source of the concern. And in the Mississippi River Basin, uh, the predominant driver is thought to be excess fertilizer entry into receiving waters. So focusing on the source means going to the fields, going to the farms, going to agricultural operations in, across the Mississippi River Basin and affecting change. We expect to receive ideas from across the world. It could be traditional researchers at research universities who figured out new ways to address hypoxia. We are interrelated, we're connected. We have responsibilities to think about what the impact is on others. Bold action, effective action, happens when you engage the creative forces and the opportunities that the market really is ideally suited to inspire. Tulane is poised to find innovative and entrepreneurial solutions to a problem like hypoxia in the Gulf.